So I wanted to give you a little bit of an honesty box update. After all, that's exactly what this channel is about. The journey of starting a farm and to show all of my mistakes so that you guys don't have to make them. So the honesty box has now been out for three or four days. And I think I've made just shy of about 30 pounds, which I am super happy with because I didn't really expect to make anything to start with. I've sold quail eggs, duck eggs, hen eggs, lettuces, kale. I also arrived to the farm to find one of my 10 pound um, bouquets was gone. I got very excited, looked in the honesty box, zero. So we have had a theft, unfortunately, of on day two, which was rather disappointing, especially as I kind of think if you are skint enough to steal eggs or food, then I don't begrudge you a little bit of food if you're that, if you're that desperate for it. But stealing flowers, you don't need those, you don't eat them. And I also think some poor partner somewhere has been given a bunch of flowers that she loves or he loves, um, and they were stolen. Which means sadly, I've now had to put my um, smile you're on camera sign down there and also move the camera down there. I didn't want to have to do that because I was really counting on people's, uh, <laughs> people's honesty. But I should say, for the most part, people have been really honest. Now, one thing I've learned is that I probably got my pricing wrong. I've priced my lettuces at £1.50 each um, or two for £2. And then I went to the local supermarket and there were head lettuces there and they were £1.30 um, each. So, and they've come air miles and they're wrapped in plastic. So I've probably priced them a little bit too low. However, the second mistake I've made is not having a succession of lettuces. So as you can see, most of these lettuces are bolting. I cannot sell any of these. These, this is chicken food. Um, so actually at the moment, I need to get rid of the remaining lettuces as quickly as possible. They have been flying off the shelves. I've been selling, you know, six to eight per day. Um, so I'm gonna keep that price point for now, uh, just to get rid of them. And then I already have two more successions coming. Unfortunately, there's gonna be a bit of a wait before they do arrive, but um, it's something I've learned. I must succession uh, so lettuces closer together. The other thing is I will probably sell um, at a higher price at farmers markets. Now on first basis that seems a little bit cheeky um, but my thinking is a people that attend farmers markets have money in their pocket and they are already uh, willing to spend more money than people just passing by and seeing an honesty box stand. The other thing is it's actually more expensive to attend the farmers market. You've got to buy all of the setup to start with, the tables, the banners, the posters, um, the boxes to put all the veg in, all of that stuff. Plus you've got to pay for your pitch. So actually I think that next year when we do do farmers markets, I'll probably price higher at farmers markets than I do on the garden gate. Overall, I'm super happy with how it's gone. Um, as I say, my lettuces are running out, but I've been selling uh, kale. I can start picking some chard. And today I'm gonna harvest a few of the uh, beets and radishes and pop them down there and see how they go. So, you know, as a start, it's been quite successful. I should say though, surprisingly, veg has sold and eggs have sold, but apart from that theft, no flowers have sold. I wonder if people around here are just more used to buying vegetables than flowers. But again, it's only been up three days. Most people don't even know it's there or that they can buy fly flowers there. So I will keep picking and I'll keep putting bouquets down and we will see where we go. And if they don't sell, I'll just give them to friends, family and pop them in my own house. So it's a win-win. So as we're here, let's harvest some of these beets. We'll wash them up and then we'll work out a price and put them on the stand. That's not exactly a baby bee. So we pulled 15. Um, I think I'm gonna sell them in bunches of five. I haven't got uniform um, size, so we're gonna size them kind of equally. So we're gonna put, you know, if there's a big one in a bunch, we'll put some smaller ones to equal it out. I've also got some scales so I can weigh the collective um, bunch to make sure they're as near to the same as possible. 
So as many of you know, we don't actually have an office on site here. Um, so this currently is my office. I have a barn, I have a table, I have all my labels and stuff there. We also don't have any running water. Um, so at the moment I'm using these barrels. I bring up um, fresh tap water every day and fill these barrels. The first thing to go into them are obviously the greens that don't have soil on them so I can get the field heat off them, clean them up and take them away. And then now obviously the beets have got soil on the base. So we're gonna rinse them off in this, clean them up, clean off the leaves and bunch them. All the vegetables here are sold as unwashed vegetables and are labelled as such so people know they have to wash them when they get home. That water obviously is now dirty so we will throw that on the garden. Um, the beets are clean however but we're just going to trim up all these leaves just to make them look a bit more pretty. Well, the bad thing about not having an office is when it gets windy, everything gets blown around. <laughs> but uh, I have my scales just here and I have this. This is my salad spinner. Um, the links to those I'll just put below so you can see the scales that I bought and the salad spinner. And you can see we're at 544. And I've weighed these bunches up. So we've each got five beets in them and they all come to between 540 and 550 grams so we've got a good uh, close average that so we're gonna band the top and then try and work out a price point so here they are here are our beets looking nice now I've had a look online and it seems to be that for 400 grams uh, in all the shops it's £1.80 we are at 550 grams and they are farm fresh, straight from the field to the market stand. So we are gonna do a price point of two pound, um, no, three pounds each, or two for five pounds. And we will see how that price point goes. I'm also going to drop links below to all the stuff that I've used today. So the scale, the spinner, um, the blackboards, the honesty box, all of that. All of that came from Amazon. So I'll drop them in the box below so you can take a look for yourselves. So as you can see, I'm basically making this up as I go along. Um, this was always a test year, not only obviously in the growing and the site and setting up, but also in the pricing and what customers want. Um, this is a very rural area. There's lots of honesty boxes. Um, I can't sell my eggs, my hen eggs, for any more than a pound because everywhere around here has them for a pound. So it's kind of knowing the local market, knowing the local economy, seeing what people want, and then kind of guesstimating what people will pay. Um, and so maybe next year prices will go up. But at the moment, let's just get stuff selling.